Now I want to teach you about how to prove that all repeating decimals are rational numbers. Um, I will give you two examples here. The first one is the easy one. Uh, it is mandatory for you to understand and to do it by yourself. But the second one is more challenging. So for those who like challenge, try to learn the second examples. Okay. Um, for proving this, I use two premise. Okay. The first premise will be that um, rational num no not rational number sorry all repeating decimals are or all repeating decimals can be expressed into the ratio of two integers. The second premise is all numbers that can be expressed into the ratio of two integers are rational numbers. Okay, so to prove that all repeating decimals are rational numbers is by showing that all repeating decimals can be expressed into the ratio of two integers. So that is what we are going to do. The first examples will be 6.757575 and so on. Okay. Um, so I will make an assumption here. Okay, to prove this, I will make the assumption uh, if x equals to this numbers, this value, okay, that the one that we want to prove. Therefore, if I multiply x by 100, okay, I will have a decimals with the digits after decimals exactly the same with the original one. Okay. And then from these two equations, I do the elimination. You know that elimination, right? You have learned that before. So by eliminate these two equations, subtraction, okay, here. So I subtract this by this on the left side. On the right side, I subtract this by this. You can see that since the the digits after decimals are exactly the same, it will be gone. So after I subtract that, I will have this statement, this equation, and I will find the value of x equals 669 over 99. Since the first assumption is that x equals 6.757575, therefore 6.757575 and so on equals to exactly 669 over 99, which is a ratio of two integers. You can check it by your calculator. When you divide 669 by 99, you will find these repeating decimals. So that is how you prove uh, that 6.7575 and so on is rational numbers. How about the second one? Now this is tricky. And since you you have you have to convert this first into a decimal that has a a, a more distinctive pattern, just like the or the previous example, rather than this. So you need to modify. You need to make a modification first with these uh, decimals. And there are many alternatives of the modification, but I choose this one. This value, and I want you to remember that these dots means that it's still repeating endlessly. Okay, 211, 211, 211, and so on. Okay, I modified it into this expression, a sum expression. So, 82.3211211211 and so on equals to 82.2 plus 0 0.121121121 from where i get this well uh, well this is the challenge for you to figure out since my objective is i want to 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 have uh, a sum of two decimals that has a, a pattern that can be distinctively uh, easy for you to eliminate. What I mean is, for, this is not a good pattern, right? But when I convert this, I will have an easier one, which is 0 0.121, 121, 121, and so on. Now I will focus on this one first. Okay, I will just leave 
uh, until then we will discuss it later so from this point I assume that the 0 0.121121 and so on will be equal to x okay and then I will have another decimals when I multiply x, x by 1000 so I will have two decimals with the digits after decimals are exactly the same right so I can go to the elimination okay this is the two equations here so when I eliminate when I subtract these two equations the decimals will be eliminated since we have exactly the same pattern here so when I subtract I will have 999x equals 121 okay so the x will be equals to 121 over 999 so it is the ratio of two integers but this is not the value of the original one which we want to prove this is the value of 0 0.1 to 1 1 to 1 1 to 1 and so on okay so after this we go back to this equation this modification that we have done before at the first step okay since this equals this and I know that this one is a ratio of two integers and I know actually exactly that this one also the ratio it can be expressed into the ratio of two integers I convert both into that fraction okay so both add-in will are the ratio of two integers so actually you will you will know from this point that if i add this up we will, in the end the result will be the ratio of two integers right so we can just do the arithmetic thing okay before i add this i simplify the first into four, 411 over 5 i simplify it and then i will before we add fractions you have to make the denominators the same right into the least common multiple multiple so LCM and okay this is the result okay and then after I add it then this is the final result so this repeating decimals will be exactly equal to this fraction which is a ratio of two integers therefore we can conclude that this repeating decimals is a rational number okay, that's all for uh, but again I encourage you to learn the first one you have to master the first one for the second one it's very good if you can understand that if you can figure out the key point here is the first step if you can figure it out this statement again this is not the the only alternative okay you can find other alternative than this thank you